Hey guys, welcome to QA Automated. This is Anucha. In this vid uh, video, we are going to see what is test entry grouping and what is depends on in test entry. And let us see in detail with example. In our previous course, we have learned about test entry annotations. And in this post, we will see how we can group the test cases and specify dependent test cases using test entry annotations. So let us see what are the groups. Groups is nothing but it is a parameter of annotation at test. So earlier we have seen in our test entry annotations video that there is an annotation at test which can specify which method is a test case. So groups is a parameter of that annotations which we can use to execute multiple test case as a single group. So let's say you have hundreds of test cases for class devices and in it 10 methods are for laptops, 10 methods are for not notebooks and so on. And you probably like to run all the notebooks test cases together in a batch and you want all to be in a single test suit. With the help of grouping, you can easily and effectively address this kind of situation. So let us see with example how we can do it. So let us see the example in detail. In this, we have uh, two groups that is laptops and notebooks. And there is one more group that is a touchscreen laptops book, which is, which is a subset of laptops group. So suppose if I want to run this test cases laptop one and laptop two test cases which are specifically designed for these laptops then i am grouping it with this label and the second group i have notebooks where i want to run these two test cases as a part of this group execution so i am labeling these two test cases notebook one and notebook two as a notebooks then third we have a touch screen laptop test case which is also a laptop test case so i want to run this when i'm running test case for this particular group and as well as this particular group so i am labeling it as a both so in this way we can label this test cases to form a different group now we'll come to the part where we want to run it in the test ng.xml so Let us open what is the configuration required for testng.xml. Okay, so here when you declare a suit, you need to give a test name. Then in that, we add this include name laptops. So when you add this include name laptop inside this groups and run tag, so this particular test cases of laptops will run. So suppose in this case, what test cases will run? Three test cases will run. First one is for laptop one, laptop two, and this one, touch screen laptop. So this is, if you want to run these two test cases, then you just need to change here to the notebooks. This will run perfect. Now, let us see what is dependent test. You may need to invoke some methods in a test case in a particular order so that you want to share some data in between the test cases during the flow. So suppose you have a test case, say sign in, um, and you have a test uh, case for sign out. So sign out test case is dependent on sign in because first you have to do the sign in and then you can do the sign out. So in this case, you can use the depends on method attribute of at test annotation. We'll see an example how we are doing it. So I'm opening this. So uh, there, this is, there are three test cases. One is sign in, one is open browser, and one is sign out. So sign in can occur when the browser is open. So sign in is dependent on open browser. So in this case, open browser test case will execute first and then the sign in test case will execute irrespective of how you have written it in your class. Then 
if you go to sign out what it is dependent on it's dependent on sign in so first sign in will execute before execution of sign out so this is also a way where you can define the order of your test case execution i hope you understood the concept of test entry grouping and why we need to group the test cases in order to execute it in a batch of a single type of group then second we have understood the depends on concept where we need to define the flow of execution of test case in such a way that uh, our test case is dependent on the execution of some other test case so the, uh, i hope you have understood this and if you have any questions feedback or suggestions you can write it down in the comment section below uh do subscribe my channel so that you get notifications of my upcoming videos thanks for watching